Hello. Hello, Mr. David. Speaking. Hello, I'm calling you from Tranco here. Yeah. Yes. Yes, listen, I've uh, got a report here from Koba. Yes. There's uh, a few issues we need to talk about here. Regarding? Firstly, regarding um, your uh, ability to not obey the rules. Yes. Where you live. What what type of rules? Having more than uh, a, a whole uh, house full of people, a flat full of people. She gave us permission when we had a, a service in our flat, and we asked her permission about that. Is your flat a church? <laughs> it, it, it's not a church where we're having a prayer meeting, and she gave us permission to have that. So you can't listen to one side of the story. You got the wrong story, because there are a whole lot of issues that are going on in this building that she does wrong as well. Koba does nothing wrong. It's it's. What club story you you, uh, you say? I, I'm telling you. You, you t- believe in what Koba Koba told you? Yes, Koba's an honest, hardworking lady, and she. That's, has what, to, that, that's what you think. That's what she, you think. You you giving me cock stories now? Because as I say, it's a racist thing. She's got something against us because we are Indians. No, there's nothing wrong with uh, you being Indian. It's a problem with you not following the bloody no, then rules. Then do that to everybody else. Yes. There's a lot of things that are going on in the building that she overlooks. Some other people. Like what? No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Because there's nothing. I'm not here to complain about other people. Yeah, exactly. She overlooks it. Exactly. There's nothing. You see, you can't give me one example. No, I, why must I complain about other people? She's complaining about me. Well, everybody else here is complaining about you. Listen, we've got another complaint that there's a. Uh, that um, the the smell of your cooking is uh, annoying the neighbours. <laughs> oh. I don't know what nonsense is that. You know what you are telling me? It's bullshit. No, it's not. Now, the smell of my cooking is annoying people here. Yes, the cooking it goes through the whole block of flats. What the hell are you cooking in there? <laughs> hey, what are you cooking, man? It smells like you are slow roasting dogs' buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> and what you telling me about my cooking? Eh? Yes. The fact that I'm here in, I can't cook in my own flat. You, but you can't cook. What is it that you're cooking? It's what the hell are you telling me? I can't <laughs> cook, man. What is your problem? It's disgusting what you're cooking. Hey, make toast. <laughs> you can't start a dish over the phone. I are go- you that illicit? Like, well, what are you cooking tonight? What are you cooking on the stove there? That is not your problem. No, but it's everybody in the flat's problem. That's the issue. So tell everybody in the church to come and see what I'm cooking at. Can you maybe buy a recipe book or something? Because you clearly don't know how to cook in that house. I'm going to ask your wife to buy one for you. Because the church I'm here in the bush, sorry, about somebody cooking. The people in the building something. I know you keep us doing this call, man. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated now, honestly. <laughs> calm down, calm down. But well, you want me to speak, keep on speaking on the phone. Okay. You have to hear what he's going to have to say. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, sorry all the time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Are you there? What's the complaint about your cooking? That is affecting everybody. Calm yourself down. You think it's very easy. Yeah, but what else can I do? So why are you not talking to the person? Why am I talking to you? I want to speak to you. You're the man of the house. Please. <laughs> are you coming from COVID? They're talking about you and your cookie. You need to speak to them and sort it out. What must I sort it out? What must I sort out? I'm telling you, the person to come here. I swear his mother just now, if you, if you have a phone again. Please, mother. His mother, I will say. <laughs> no. <laughs> not me. You will be the Hello. Hello. Sorry, no problem. Hold on. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, Mr. David. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Are we going to sort this out or not? I told you, you're going to sort it out. Come here. Because somebody else said the other day you were in the lift with them and you had bad breath as well. I had what? Oh. Bad breath. Well, they were, they were, they were too, uh, too close to my face, they said, to my mouth. They said they couldn't wait to get out of the lift because oh. your, your breath was so bad. In, in Next time, tell them to come and smell my ass. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Next time, tell them to come and smell my ass. Does it smell better than your breath? Well, whoever complained about my, uh, my breath, then they, they must smell my ass to see whether it is bad. Is that what you were praying for? 
Whatever. <laughs> Were you praying to get that devil breath away? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know how but I'm going But now you are, you, you're going overboard and talking nonsense to me. Is it? I had other complaints that your radio is too loud in the morning as well. So I'm not, I'm not the only one that uh, uh, put the radio on. So how can you say it is me? So the four of us, uh, the four of us that live here. Oh, so now you want to uh, grass up your nine-year-old daughter. <laughs> but what I'm going to do from now on, I'm going to put my two big, big speakers on and blast it in this flat. And I see who's going to tell me bullshit. Well, I'm an Indian. I like uh, loud music. So it, it, it's such a business what, what I listen to. Yeah. What radio station do you listen to there? Why do you want to know that? I just would like to know because it must be good. Uh, sometimes I put the uh, Joburg station on as well. Which one is that? I felt. Is it? Who do you listen to? 94.7. Yeah. Who's on at that time? Racket Simpson. Is it? Mm-hmm. He's good, eh? He's very good, yeah. Yeah, and he just pranked you. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do this? <laughs> oh, thanks to Simpson. your... Yes! Did my wife put you up to this? <laughs> yes, she did. I... No, man. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Simpson. <laughs> I even got your CDs here as well. Oh. And I'll never get pranked by you. Hey, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Hello. Gosh. Racket, thank you so much. <laughs> Squared him we out. got him. <laughs> I love it. They were having a domestic issue in the background there. <laughs> hey. It. I love it. <laughs> it's your cooking. It's not my cooking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love the way he throws his nine-year-old under the bus yeah. there. <laughs> hey. It's not me with the radio, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> and jumps on the stereotype. Indians do like loud music. I'm going to blast my speakers. That's it. Love it. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Living in South Beach, Durban. Listening every single day.